Okay, let's go back in time a little bit. We're just looking at the rough construction of the tire bell structure um, before it's finished like it is now. So we use 37 tire bales, 75 tires per bale. That's 2,775 tires we recycled in this project. You can see the concrete bond beam that wraps around the top of the tire bales to give it mass and strength and stability. Also the lower bond beam that right in the front there, that's the southern facing side that's gonna hold the weight of the windows and the window frame, okay? Primary containment of these tire bales, of course, is the wires that hold the tires together. There's five on each tire bale. The secondary containment we built is these vertical four by four posts that are in 24 inches of concrete. And also they have that uh, plywood holding uh, pressed up against the tires. That's secondary containment should any of the tire bale wires bust and the tires try to start to expand. Of course, dirt will be the third tertiary containment, okay? So there's some more secondary containment right there. Of course, this building got wrapped all the way around in, um, in OSB as well as rigid foam insulation. Now on the top of the tire bales, you can see the posts that stick up those pieces of rebar. That's where we located the back of the Vigas, the north side of the Vigas that make up the main roof structure. So you'll see that in the build videos, of course. These tire treads that we use to kind of cover the gaps. I'm not sure I would do that again. It did give it a little bit more stability, but once the bond beam is on there, it is pretty rigid. So uh, more tertiary, secondary containment there with those vertical posts. I have quarter inch, I think it was quarter inch cable that goes through those posts and tied together to keep the posts tight. So they cross over from one post to the other across the top of the tire bales uh, to give a lot, of, a lot of strength there for secondary containment. These side tire bales here, these three on the side, on the east side and the west side, ended up moving later. I put those in prematurely because I had to wrap the whole thing in insulation, of course. So I had to move those away, wrap it in insulation, and put those back. This is the doorway side here. That's where the door ends up. Um, and the entrance, those holes in the bottom there are where the vertical posts go in that hold up the main cross beam that holds up the front of the roof, or the front of the roof, or the south part of the roof. So the Vegas sit on the bond beam on the north side and they'll sit on a truck, a big uh, beam across the south side there. Okay, just a little close up here, a more tertiary or secondary containment and a little bit of pack out of concrete. And uh, I didn't do a whole lot of this like I probably should have. Um, you can see the yellow marks there that mark the flattest side of the tire. So I tried to put the flattest side of the tire bales uh, toward the inside to make more of a flat working surface. Nothing straight about tire bales. Nothing straight at all. You have to kind of know that going into it. You can also see in that left side there, there's tires, uh, rammed earth tires. There's also some earth bags that we use to kind of make up for some of the, fill some of the holes.